大家好 ，Welcome to learn Mandarin Chinese in five minutes YouTube channel. Today's video is about 年 Nian means year in Chinese. We are not going to talk about the Chinese word Nian, but rather to tell you a Chinese folklore about a ferocious beast called Nian. This beast only comes out to attack villages and animals during the Chinese New Year's Eve. Although the story will be in Chinese. You don't need to worry at all, as subtitle will be in English. You can also find the translation and pinyin in the description section. Let's get started. 很久以前，中国古时候有一种较年的怪兽，它的头上有很长的触角，样子也非常的凶猛。年中年住在海底的最深处，每到除夕才爬上岸，吞噬家畜和祸害人间。因此，每到除夕这天，村民就会逃到深山去，以躲避年兽的伤害。这年除夕，当村民正准备逃离到山上时，村外来了个老乞丐，他拿着一根棍子和一个袋子，白色的长胡须，眼睛透露着一种独特的光芒。此时，村里的村民都忙着收拾行李，牵牛赶羊，场面非常的吵闹和混乱不堪。根本没人有闲暇的时间理会这位老乞丐，只有村里的一位老婆婆可怜这位老乞丐，给了他一些食物，并劝他赶快上山躲避年兽。老乞丐听后笑道：“您如果让我在这住一夜。”我一定把年兽撵走。老太婆没有回应，只是仔细的看着老乞丐，觉得他有种不为人知的魔力。老婆婆一边准备逃难，一边继续劝说。老乞丐只是笑了笑，没有再说什么。老婆婆无奈。只好离家到山里避难。半夜时分，年兽闯进了村里。当他来到村东头老婆婆家时，他感觉到村里的气氛与以前不同。老婆婆的家门贴着红纸，点着蜡烛，屋里灯光灿烂，非常明亮。年兽浑身颤抖，发出奇怪的叫声。之后，年怒气冲冲地朝向老婆婆的家，想用身子撞门。当他快到门口时，突然听到花园里有砰砰啪啪的炸响声。他开始全身颤抖，不敢前进。原来，年最怕红色、火光和爆炸声。这时，婆婆的家门大开，老乞丐披着红袍，哈哈大笑的走了出来。年吓了一跳，惊慌的逃回深海处。第二天是正月初一，避难回来的村民们看到村里安然无恙，十分惊奇。这时，老婆婆突然记起老乞丐对她说的话，就赶紧告诉村民
。当村民赶到老婆婆家时，发现门上贴着红纸，院里未烧尽的竹子还在啪啪炸响，屋内的几根红蜡烛也还存有余光。为了庆祝这喜庆的日子。村民们都纷纷的穿上新衣，戴上新帽子，到亲戚和朋友家道喜问好。这件事很快就传遍了周围的村子，大家都知道如何除掉年的野兽了。从此，每逢除夕夜。家家户户都用红纸写春联，贴在门外，并放炮竹和烟花。各家各户也点起蜡烛，万家灯火，庆祝除夕夜。到了大年初一，人们就会起个大早，然后到亲戚朋友家拜年。这风俗一直流传到现在，成了中国民间最隆重的传统节日。Lunar New Year customs， 半年货，半年货。In ancient times, transportation was inconvenient. And materials were relatively scarce. In order to celebrate the annual spring festival, every family prepares New Year goods about ten days before the festival. New Year's goods include chicken, duck, fish, meat, tea, wine, sauce, nuts, seeds, sugar, and fruits. You must buy enough and prepare some gifts. For visiting relatives and friends during the new year, children need to buy new clothes and hats and prepare to wear them during the new year. 年夜饭 or 团圆饭 reunion dinner originated from the ancient year-end ceremonies worshiping. The gods and ancestors to reunite for dinner. Pao Zhu. The original purpose of firecrackers is to welcome gods and expel ghosts. Later, it developed into a symbol of leaving the old and welcoming the new with its strong festive colors. Chun. Lian, spring couplets are also called door pairs and spring posts. They are posted during the spring festival and are written on red paper. Spring couplets rise to popularity in the Song Dynasty. In the Ming Dynasty, Ming Taizu Zhu Yuanzhang strongly advocated couplets. He ordered ministers, officials, and ordinary people to paste couplets on the door before New Year's Eve. 压岁钱 The Chinese word 岁做岁 sounds the same as 岁 The original meaning of 压岁钱 is to suppress evil and drive away evil spirits. The older generation believe and think that children are vulnerable to evil spirits, so they use New Year's money to suppress them. Another meaning of 压岁钱 is the younger generations giving New Year's money to the elderly. The 岁 refers to age, which means to hope for a long life for the elderly. 守岁 The main purpose of 守岁 staying up late on New Year's Eve and light the year's fire is to have the family gather together and keeping the year-old fire 
from extinguishing. It is said that after shining like this, it will enrich the wealth of the family in the coming year. 今天的视频到此结束，希望大家喜欢，谢谢大家的支持，再见。